Spray away for the win. Hello, welcome to my home. If you're new here, my name is Karen. Comfort is the name of the game today. Oversized t-shirt, workout pants, sneakers. This morning when I got up and I'm looking around my messy house, <laughs> I'm like, and aren't you surprised? Like you see all these videos. It looks like I'm just like keeping up with everything, doesn't it? But I'm like, what in the world is wrong with me? Like, what's wrong with me? Why can't I get it together? And then I realized, oh yeah, it's like deep winter and I live in Maine. And yes, I'm taking vitamins, so many vitamins, so much vitamin D. That's not the problem. So <clears throat> today I am hoping to get things cleaned up. I have so many things in my head I want to get done and I am smart enough to know they're not all going to get done. So I'm just, I'm letting myself off the hook. I hope you let yourself off the hook too. While I'm cleaning, I really want to talk about bandwidth. Everybody has a different bandwidth. Some of you have some physical issues you're dealing with. Some of you are caretakers for ill loved ones. So let's talk about bandwidth as I clean. I'm gonna be doing active, restful, active, restful. And that's how I stay productive. When I really wanna be productive, then I have to stagger my activities so that when I'm sitting down, I'm also resting while I'm getting some things done. So come with me, let's get motivated together, but please go to your bandwidth, not mine, okay? I love you too much to see you working yourself into the ground. Case in point, these clothes were on my bed and I wanted to go to sleep, so guess what happened? Boom! Here's my lovely desk. There's my husband's jacket. These are my books. Okay, so I'm gonna get this cleaned up. Hubby didn't make the bed today, but I think he's feeling about as good as I am. <laughs> There's my glass I need to remove, my water cup. You know, all the things. There's my coffee, fueled on coffee today, for show. Sure. I have also been craving the carbs and I have been succumbing and the more you eat carbs, the more you crave them. So I'm really trying to get my food back on track again. I'm gaining weight, people, and no, that's not, no. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. I'll do that helps is I will just give something a very quick wipe while I'm standing right there. It takes like two seconds. So if I'm throwing laundry in, I'm wiping any detergent off, you know, taking a wet rag, I'm just wiping anything off that's around and it just kind of helps things to stay cleaner. You know, if I'm going to the bathroom, I might give the radiator a quick swipe that's right beside the toilet. <laughs> My glasses are everywhere. I'm also going to listen to the Bible while I am cleaning. That's going to help me too. As Jesus was leaving the temple grounds, his disciples pointed out to him the various temple buildings. But he responded.
One thing that would definitely be more helpful to me that would save me energy in the long run is to put things away as soon as I take them off. And I know this and then I don't do it. But keeping jobs small is so important. Taking care of something right away, if you have the energy, saves energy in the long run. And this is a lesson I need to relearn again. You know, every time I tend to get something down, life happens and then I fall behind and then that becomes a snowball effect. And just like getting behind creates a snowball effect, say when you've been sick, getting caught up also starts a snowball effect and every little thing you do is an encouragement that it's going to get better so anything you can do that will help you in the long run is something that's going to make you feel better and more motivated to keep on going you know something in motion stays in motion but if you don't get in motion you can't ever stay in motion so if you're able to get in motion any little thing you can do will be a great encouragement to you. So I'm finding just things all over the house, like this little note I wrote to myself, a little to-do list, all over the house that I should have dealt with when it originally happened. Instead, I let it go. You know, it's one thing to be too tired to do the dishes at night, but it's a completely other thing to just not put a cup away. It's one of those things I tell my family all the time. And then if I'm not doing it, oh my goodness, please, Karen, please just get it together. <laughs> But it happened and grace abounds and you have to give yourself grace and love. These drawers really need to be decluttered, but it's not happening now. It'll be a nice small declutter that I can share with you on another day. It is time for my break. So what I wanted to mention about the bed is one of the ways to not waste your energy and bandwidth is to create bed a bed that is easy to make that where you can just like pull up the covers and call it good. You know, unless the throw pillows really make you happy. It's not a necessity. Hospital corners are not a necessity. If you get a comforter or something, this is, at, my bed is a queen size bed, but if you were to get a king size blanket, then you're assured it's gonna be longer than the other blankets and stuff on your bed so that you know it's gonna hang beneath. That is a little trick too. So keeping things super simple is one way to not waste energy making the bed, you know, and, and we'll think about other things and let me know your ideas in the comments section. So the last two things I am gonna do in this room sorry about the camera shake, after my break is to wipe down our mirrored end tables. Oh, there goes my alarm. And give the room a quick vacuum. So now I'm gonna get myself some oatmeal and then I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna do Yvonne's schedule for school because she starts school in an hour and a half. And then I'm going to text all of the clients that I have calls with because today's Monday. So I have the most client calls for my health coaching business on Monday. So I'll uh, text all of them and just remind them of our call. So those will be a couple nice sit down jobs. And then I can get up and get moving again. But if I needed a longer break, I would definitely take one. Also, this candle is a Yankee candle and it's pumpkin maple cream caramel. And even though it's not fall, the cream caramel of this, oh my goodness, I am loving this candle. I've been burning it every day and I burn it in my bedroom so that I don't have to worry about the cats putting their paw in it. I'm 
place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever found. Now that my oatmeal is cool enough to eat, okay, I'm gonna text my clients. And I did realize that I need to do the kitchen next because last night I didn't even get the dishwasher started. <sighs> so <laughs> I need to put in whatever dishes are around and get the dishwasher started for sure. Oh, wait, yeah, after I do the end tables and the vacuuming. Okay, that'll be my next slot of cleaning time. So. I have a Google Calendar that my daughter Rachel set up for me, and so now I just go to that, see who I need to text, and it's basically a copy and paste, so it's quick. All right, I'm not done with my oatmeal yet, so that gives me enough time. I also know that my husband, his Optavia order is about to happen, so I need to go in there and adjust it for what he's going to need this month. All right, oatmeal's empty. And I do realize I just heard the washing machine go off and I do need to get that dishwasher started so I can empty it. That would be make the most sense. And then I'll come back in here and finish up. Mm -hmm. I got this. I got this. So do you. It's 8.22. So I'm going to work until 9 and then see how I feel. And then I have my first call at 10. Get me up, so in it. A certain style you're going for in your home or is it just kind of picking what you like I actually am very attracted to the idea of coastal glam and it's so funny well it's not really funny but cool I watch Kimmy Cope she also posts daily so if you like this you might want to go check her channel out but anyway I digress she 
is redoing her single wide mobile home. And she said that her style is what she's switching over to is coastal glam. So I thought that was super cool. All right, so I have, this is Aromatherapy Body Lotion. These are all from Yvonne. This is Dream Bright Bath and Body Works Lotion, which I should use right now. It's winter, y'all. And this is the Dream Bright Fine Fragrance Mist. Sometimes I like to just give that a squirt before I go to sleep. So yeah. And then I have one coaster for when I have my water. I don't really feel like I need to do the front of these. You can see it definitely was, do uh, I almost said toasty. It definitely was dusty, so now I'm gonna do my husband's. I was also noticing that my mirror needs to be done, so I'm gonna do that real quick too while I have the glass cleaner out. Actually, maybe I do need you to do the front of his. I also noticed a couple spots on the wall that could stand to be cleaned. <sighs> the more you clean, the more dirt you see. You ever notice that? It's kind of like when you start doing a DIY and you're like, oh, I should do this and this and this. Oh, now that I've done the wall, the ceiling looks like crap. Oh, now that I've done the ceiling and the wall, the floor looks like crap. Vicious, vicious cycle. What even is that? Okay, it's coming off. Maybe I don't need to go get my wall cleaner. I can just use this. Spray away for the win. Sponsor me. Spray away. Ooh, okay. Oh, another one. <laughs> Did I spit? <laughs> Did I spill my coffee on the wall? What? What? This is all going to get painted anyway, Karen. Stop it. This is one of the walls that has not been painted yet. Okay. Yep, there we go. And we need a new battery. All right, I'm going to get to those corners first and a little bit of a mess by my bed. Because that's often what I don't do when I'm vacuuming. It really does need to be done. This is what happens when you let other people paint. <laughs> Look, ugh, I don't even know what to do with that. Sand it down and restain, I guess. time for a calmer job and I don't have today's video uploaded it needs a thumbnail and I'm trying to work harder on the thumbnail funny story not really funny okay my story <laughs> I always say funny story is what I wore in the video of it's an office declutter which you would have seen yesterday office declutter organize is in the laundry it's in the dryer right now so I'm gonna put this on which is actually better because having print on my sweatshirt for a thumbnail is not the best plan and then I'm gonna take a couple pictures if you ever think of ways I could improve my thumbnails which is the picture you see when you gotta go to click on the video let me know I definitely want to up my game all right so I'm gonna put this sweatshirt on and I'm gonna 
get my thumbnail taken. Once I do that, oh, you're shaking. Once I do that, I'm going to download the pictures from my husband took this ferry trip. Um, he went out on the ferry in Portland Harbor yesterday and he was sending me pictures. So I'm sharing some of those. So I'm going to download those, which will finish the video. It's all edited and get it uploading. I really like it. I have my first call in an hour and I really do like it um, to have things uploading while I'm on the phone. It kind of works. It feels like I'm getting double the work done so that that will be all up for noon because that gives it a good hour, actually two hours for me to get it completely uploaded. So here's a little thumbnail behind the scenes. I still hadn't put anything away that I decluttered. My husband ended up helping me with that later in the day. So you got to get everything cleared out that you don't want in the picture. <laughs> and then you got to pose yourself. You got to set your timer on your camera and bam. Oh, my cat is actually sneezing in the background as I do this voiceover, but there's Leo. He likes that spot because he can feel the heater. And then there's Woozy. He likes the little corner pocket there where both heaters come together. They're both chilling and relaxing while I work, 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 work. <laughs> I'm back in my comfy t-shirt. scratching at my door. <laughs> I'm sorry, it is not lunchtime yet, Lucy. No. He thinks it's lunchtime. It's 9 o'clock in the morning, maybe 9.50. Alright, this time I will stop at 10. Hello! These are the screws and nails, and I'm going to start dividing them up while we watch TV at night. I put this scarf under the TV a couple Christmases ago because I usually decorate in blue and silver and then I left it there because it went so well but I am over it and I've been meaning to do this for a long time. Look at all the dust that was under it. I'm waving hello to you. Okay, I can wave to you a little bit better now because <laughs> it looks a lot better. Unlike this end table here. All right, I need to get myself a snack and it's time to get ready for a coach call. So while I'm on that call, I will be uploading my video that will be up at noon Eastern Standard Time. I'm about to shut it off. All right, hello Kathy, if you're out there, I'm about to call you. <laughs> Make sure you're fueling your body Make sure you're hydrating. Hydration is so important, especially with chronic pain. 
keep everything lubed. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start this downloading and then make my call. All right, let's talk about some other ideas that you can use to help yourself not burn out, not wear out. Of course, there's always things like paper plates and plastic cups. I know they're not always ideal, but sometimes if you're going through an exhausting time, it does really help not to have so many dishes. Also, using things like crock pot liners. We put parchment paper down on our cookie sheets. So if I'm just roasting broccoli or Brussels sprouts, I don't usually have to wash the cookie sheet. If anything, maybe I would give it a quick rinse, but honestly, even that wouldn't necessarily be necessary. I also have oven liners in my oven and that helps my oven not to get so dirty. I have liners in my refrigerator so that the liner itself can be taken out. Placemats work great. I used to have placemats that I got at Dollar Tree that I would put down in the refrigerator to catch any spills. It's not lunchtime. <laughs> Oh, that cat. Oh, my goodness. So, yes, whatever you can do to line your life, you know, put down the liners to make things so, so much easier. What else do I do? Quick wipe down when you're in the bathroom. If you could get some cleaning wipes and also glass cleaning wipes, anytime you go to the bathroom, wipe down one thing. Maybe one time you wipe down the mirror. Maybe one time you wipe down the sink. You could also be sitting down to do end tables in the living room. You know, think about what could you do to spend the least amount of effort? What could you do when you're in a room to just wipe down one little thing when you go to get your lunch? You know, maybe you would do a quick wipe in the fridge of the edges. So think of things. I also love scented cleaners that does help me to stay motivated if you use something like norwex keeping norwex wipes where you would use them would also help i keep cleaners everywhere i use cleaners so i'm not going up and down the stairs to get cleaners for a job if i'm in the bathroom the bathroom cleaners are in the bathroom if i'm in the kitchen kitchen cleaners are in the kitchen and that has really helped me too but i'm telling you cleaning wipes go a long way because it already has a solution you can just grab it out of the can and wipe away and you know you probably can get those in the Dollar Tree as well going to places where they're not as expensive definitely helps to be able to do such things disposable baking pans can also be a huge help to be able to bake and then just throw it away I need to find your toys I need to find a simulation They're not fooling me with that bird. Pretty sure that was the argument I got for getting another cat. You've your stimulations in my room laying on the bed. I just had to show you that little moment because Woozy is like the running gag of this video because he was just hungry this day, but he's supposed to be on a weight loss program. I know just how he feels. Anyway, I know every time I mention disposable things, there's always someone who's going to be concerned for the earth and we should be concerned for the earth. And I understand about landfills and I'm not suggesting that every single person on the planet do everything disposable, but I am suggesting that there are those people that cannot afford to have someone help them or don't have access to someone to help, and they have physical issues, and they have to cut themselves a break without feeling guilty about it and let the rest of us who are able to wash out our baking pans go ahead and do that rather than having disposable. But I'll be honest with you, I use disposable baking pans. I use a disposable roaster at Thanksgiving time. I have so much to clean up with a large family at Thanksgiving time that I just delight in folding up that roaster and putting it in the trash. And sometimes you just have to know what your bandwidth is and how you can best serve your family. And it's going to be okay. What do you think, my friend Leo? <laughs> He's having an easy morning. So my uh, coach calls are done until tonight. And I have a mess here I would like to deal with. It's from doing different videos and not completing the cycle. Naughty. But I really want to also clean the bathrooms. So uh, it is almost lunchtime. I'm going to start, if there's no one in the upstairs bathroom, I'm going to start upstairs. If there is someone in the upstairs bathroom, I'll start downstairs and do like a quick wipe.
kind of like I had in my morning routine. I wasn't worrying about the morning routine today because I knew I was going to be cleaning, so I thought it'll happen in the clean. I got my thumbnail done, so that video is set to go. That feels really good. So I'm going to do another spurt of cleaning, and then I'm going to have my lunch. Right? Meow. I don't know what he's looking at. I go out to go up to the bathroom and clean and I realize, oh, the dishwasher's done. See, my schedule is all wonky today. So I was thinking I better get that emptied so that when people are getting their lunch, they can put their dirty lunch dishes right in the dishwasher. I have a Bosch dishwasher and I have to say it doesn't dry the dishes, but I always put it on the quick 60 minutes and I have found that if I put it on sanitize and high heat, it does a lot better drying the dishes, but it also takes a lot longer. So if I remember when I start the dishwasher at night, I will put it on sanitize and high heat, but if it's during the day, it is actually quicker for me to give dishes that need to be dried a quick dry rather than having the dishwasher take twice as long to do the dishes. Let me just interject here that if you are getting value from this video and you're not subscribed, I would invite you to go ahead, click on the subscribe button and select all notifications so that YouTube will let you know when I upload new videos. I do a lot of decluttering videos, cleaning videos, DIY videos, and sometimes people like some of those videos but don't like others, which I'm the same way when I'm watching a channel. So let's say you like my decluttering but would rather not watch a cleaning video. If you're not subscribed and I put up decluttering videos and you watch those but you don't watch my cleaning videos, YouTube will stop showing you when I upload a new video because they think you've lost interest. But if you subscribe, then you can click on subscriptions and go and see all of the channels that you have subscribed to and what they have most recently posted. So if you don't want to miss your favorite videos, please subscribe. And if you are getting value and you would like to hit the like button, that would also be very sweet because it lets me know that you like what you're seeing and I'll make more of it. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. Do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So hold me tight through the night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just us two.
let me tell you something that you missed because I thought I had my camera on and I didn't and the toilet was open and I had the toilet bowl cleaner the little container that you put the brush in over the toilet because I was kind of putting it back together and cleaning it and half of it fell in the toilet <laughs> oh boy you just can't make this stuff up now this sounds crazy but what I do find easier even though it is a bit back breaking is to just take a cleaning wipe and clean the floor there's just it's such a small bathroom and there's so much stuff in there getting around the toilet and around the sinks and around the container all the things so maybe that will change when we're done updating this bathroom I don't know but for now it is just easier for me to wipe it down with a cleaning wipe and call it good due to terrible lighting I must stand <laughs> okay so I got that upstairs bathroom cleaned and I'm glad I did it when I did it because that was kind of, it's always exhausting, but it's so much easier. Anyway, I got that upstairs bathroom clean. Now I'm going to take a break and do lunch. My video went up, so that makes me feel good with the office declutter and little behind the scenes, I decluttered the cricket. So it actually feels really good today, which explains my thumbnail. I thought, I don't know if I really said I was relieved on that video. I think I just felt it. I think I just felt it because having more clear spaces. I actually like clear space more than I like things that I think I might use, but then I don't use. <laughs> I need to do the downstairs bathroom after I eat and have a rest. And then I really need to go to the grocery store because I have a prescription I need to pick up. My husband asked me to get some ground beef for tonight and I'm doing a tofu stir fry that I would like to film. I don't know if it'll be in today's video or maybe tomorrow's because my video it's feeling long. Um, lost my train of thought. I don't want to go to the store, but I am having some coffee and I'm going to have some lunch and I'm going to do that bathroom. I would still like to get to the mess I made on my bed. This is like things from videos, probably all that need to be dealt with in the basement. And it's freezing down there, so we'll see. How are you doing today? What are you doing in your house? I would love to know. All right, let me give you some more ideas. And this is an overarching idea, is that you have to know your bandwidth. And we don't always know our bandwidth every day, and that is fine. But what you do need to do is think, what is really important for me to get done in my home? and prioritize that to-do list. That way, if you fizzle, it is okay. Don't go pulling out an entire closet. Pull out a little section, you know? It's like I always say. And it's the same with cleaning. If you have a priority list and you're starting at the big priorities, you'll feel a better sense of accomplishment than if you start with something that really doesn't matter that much because you think you're gonna have energy and then you don't have energy. So prioritizing my to-do list has really been a game changer for me to be able to do what I can and then if I get interrupted or if I fizzle out, it's really okay. So I have what absolutely has to be done then what would be nice to get done, you know, rather than doing something that's kind of nice to have done, but isn't absolutely vital to survival, if you know what I mean. That's really what birthed my morning routine is I know that I have the most energy in the morning. So think also, when do you have the most energy during the day? All of us have a green light time. That is when we're at high energy. And then we have a yellow light time. Yellow light is when, okay, I have some energy. I could get something done, but it's not my highest energy. Not a good time to be deep cleaning or decluttering or doing anything that is exhausting. And then there's that red light time when you know you're just going to be completely fizzled. For me, that's that's nighttime. After supper, I have nothing left. I know that about myself. And so I don't plan to do anything overly energetic during those times. So then once you have your priority list of what absolutely needs to be done, that's the stuff that happens in your green light time. So for me, morning is my green light time. This is what birthed my morning routine is. I want the dishes caught up. I cannot stand to have 
dishes that sit and sit and sit. And I want people to be able to put their dirty dishes in the dishwasher as soon as they use them because that helps me in the long run. It's the same with the washing machine. I like to get my wash going and I love having a washing machine that puts water in according to how much laundry is in there. That way I don't have to worry about wasting water by doing a small load. But I like to get all of those things going and that way if someone has dirty clothes or has dirty towels although everybody does their own laundry they can be putting that in the washing machine and then when I have enough to make a load that's when that gets done so the morning routine really does help me to know that those things that are most important to me are going to get done and then I like to go room by room and just do a quick company clean to take care of any clutter full blankets that sort of thing arrange pillows if someone did stop by it would not be a tragedy and I also like to get myself ready for the day with hair and makeup that way when I'm go somewhere if there was somewhere I need to go that I wasn't planning on I can be all ready and I don't have to take time to get ready take time to put makeup on it's just something that makes me feel better that I am put together for the day and if I go anywhere then I know I'm already put together <laughs> I'm telling you it used to be we would go to the store and I swear my husband would see people he worked with every single time but it would only happen if I had no makeup on <laughs> and look like I just rolled out of bed and I hated that so much. So getting ready for the day really helps me and it makes me feel good to have a cleaning day like this when I can look around and just see everything clean, but it's not something that I can do every day. Tomorrow I'm decluttering, so I think I'm gonna save that for tomorrow. Leo, I don't know, he's not supervising today. Does that mean he trusts me? Probably not. <laughs> I honestly, I just want to lay in this pile and go to sleep. <laughs> what doesn't kill you make you stronger, right? That which doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So I'm going to get this folded real quick. And then that's going to be it. I'm not doing any other deep cleans. Now it's going to be more about getting supper ready and all that. I need to run to the grocery store, pick up my prescription. I talked my daughter Rachel into coming with me because I was really nervous that if I don't talk someone into going, I won't go. So that way, she's now expecting to go. Maybe she's thinking of something she'd like to pick up while we're there. That will get me there. Sometimes I am not good at motivating me, but if I invite someone along, that definitely helps. So I feel like I got a ton done. It does feel really good, honestly. The bathroom vanity in the half bath, that was filthy. I know we always think white shows dirt. I actually don't. I think black shows dirt. I think dark, dark colors show dirt way more than white does. These are all our undergarments. All right, socks. So... It's about 1.30, and it feels really good to have gotten that done. You know what the funny thing is? Because as you know, I've been posting daily. I was telling my husband this, that I actually, like there's days where I'm like, oh no, I got to have a video up tomorrow. You know, where I'm, you know, I'm a little overwhelmed or stressed about it. But in general, it is easier for me to put up two videos, or excuse me, it's easier for me to post daily than it is for me to put up three videos a week. Isn't that weird? But you get into a rhythm. I'm starting to find my rhythm of when to film, when to edit, and when you are only putting up a couple videos a week, you're constantly breaking your rhythm. Or, I don't know, am I spending too, was I spending too much time on each video? I really don't know. I just know that it is actually easier to put up videos every day. And I think just the mindset of when somebody asks me to do something, when I have to put up a video daily, I'm like, no, I got to work. Like, I got to work. Whereas before, I would let it interrupt me thinking, well, I only have to get this many videos up. Maybe that's it too, that I'm just like naturally treating it more seriously. 
Do you ever have a conversation with someone and then later on you think about what you said and you think, oh, I wish I hadn't said that. Yeah, that's pretty much what happens right about here in the video. I'm sharing things, uh, not private things or anything. It just doesn't come away with what I was trying to say. And it, I was just like, nope, that's dumb. I'm not going to share that. I don't like what I said. I don't like how I said it. So here I am. <laughs> just folding laundry. Just be quiet, Karen, and fold yourself some laundry. It's going to be okay. Okay, so this is done. Thank you for spending your time with me. I'd love to know what you're doing with your day in the comments, and I hope you're taking breaks. I hope you're being kind to yourself. Remember, as always, that God loves you, and I love you too, and I'm sure Leo loves you too, right, Leo? <laughs> and I can't wait to see you next time.